We're going to take a look today at OneDrive by Microsoft. And this is a service that used to be called SkyDrive. I find it to be a very convenient, useful service. As it says here, it's one place for everything in your life. It's meant to be a way for you to store and easily share the documents, photos, and just about anything else that you use. And these are stored in the cloud. In many ways, it's similar to Dropbox or Google Drive. And Microsoft has put together a comparison for us to see how these different services compare to each other. As you can see, OneDrive gives you a good amount to start with of storage. And if you want to pay for additional storage, it's cheaper really than the alternatives. Those of you that use Dropbox may be thinking, well yeah, you start with just 2 gigabytes in, in Dropbox, but if you recommend Dropbox to a friend, you very quickly can get more storage. And that's true. Microsoft's OneDrive, though, has the same option. If you recommend OneDrive to friends and they accept, you get bonus storage and so do your friends. If you've been a Windows SkyDrive user in the past, you can simply click sign in to sign into what used to be your SkyDrive account and you will basically activate your OneDrive account. If you've never used Windows SkyDrive or OneDrive, you can click the sign up button, log in with your Microsoft account if you have one. That could be a Hotmail account, it could be MSN, it could be a Windows Live account, any Microsoft account and password. If you don't have any kind of a Microsoft account, that's okay. You can click this link to sign up for a Microsoft account, which will then also give you access to Microsoft OneDrive. I do already have a Microsoft account, so I'm go going to simply click and sign in. And since this is my computer, I'll check this box to keep me signed in. And this takes me to my OneDrive storage space. All my files and folders that I had in my Windows SkyDrive account are still here. And notice with the new Windows OneDrive, as they call it now, with three steps you can get a lot more storage. You could back up your photos automatically if you have a smartphone with a camera. You can opt into that and get an additional three gigabytes of storage. Next, they want you to sync from your PC or Mac, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And then step three, you can refer friends to use OneDrive. If enough of them accept, you can get up to five more gigabytes of storage. I'll click get started. So now that I'm signed in or signed up for Microsoft's OneDrive, you'll see that I have different folders that I've set up with documents, pictures, different things that I want stored in the cloud and I want access to them on any device, anywhere that I am. And now on any computer in the world, I could go to OneDrive.com, sign in, and I would have access to these materials. For example, this photo I can access wherever I want. When I select the photo, it gives me some options for sharing that photo. I could set up a link for people to click to get this photo to be able to access it. Or I could share the photo to specific people by typing in their email address here. I could add a quick note and click share. Notice that I can set it that these documents or photos uh, are only viewable or they could be editable. I can also set it so that the viewers don't need to have a Microsoft account to see the photos or documents or I could force them to have to have a Microsoft account in order to access these things and I could just click share. If I need to I can download any of these documents that I might need. I can simply go into these folders and select a document that I need to download and very often you'll see a download button toward the top that you can click to download the document. Now one of the other great things about OneDrive is that not only can you upload documents so that you can access them wherever, but you can actually create documents. In this way it's somewhat similar to Google Drive. I can go up to the top and click create and of course I can create folders to store and organize my my documents into but I can also create a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet or workbook, a PowerPoint presentation, and all of these other things, even an Excel survey. And I can create them here in the cloud on my OneDrive. Now those of you that use Google Drive are thinking, oh yeah, we've been able to do that for years with Google Drive, and that's true. But the difference is that these are Word documents. They are PowerPoint presentations. They're not, they're not imitations of PowerPoint presentations or imitations of Word documents. And there's just something to be said for creating a Word document using 
a Windows product instead of making a Word document using a Google Drive service or you know some other alternative to the Microsoft products. So I could click as an example PowerPoint presentation and it takes me to what looks like a limited version of Microsoft's PowerPoint. I can click to add title, I can click to add subtitle. You know, they very much tried to make this similar to the real Microsoft Office. I can add multiple slides. I can insert pictures, clip art, shapes. I can put in some limited transitions and animations. When I'm done, I can actually present from the web without having the actual Microsoft PowerPoint program installed on this computer. I could click View, Slideshow to start the presentation. When I'm done, I can click File, and there is a Save As option that allows you to download this PowerPoint presentation to your computer, at which point it, could, it would open right into PowerPoint. It's uh, recognized as a full, regular PowerPoint. So that's one of the really nice things about Windows OneDrive. I'm going to X out of my wonderful presentation, and I want to show you now how to set up syncing with Microsoft OneDrive, because if all OneDrive did was allow me to upload and access my documents and videos and pictures wherever I am, and also to allow me to create documents in the cloud like PowerPoint, Excel, Word documents, I would be pretty happy. That would be pretty cool. But OneDrive does more than that. It allows you to automatically sync between devices so that files that I want to sync will be on my phone. It will, they will be on all my computers. They will be on my tablets that I have and any other devices that I want them to appear on. So let's take a look at how to set that up. In the lower left corner you'll notice that there's a link that says get OneDrive apps. I'm gonna click that. It takes me back to the front page of OneDrive but what you want to look for is this download link. I'll click that and just browsing down the page a little bit you'll see that there are different downloads depending on what kind of device you're working with. I'm creating this presentation on a Mac, so I will click Download OneDrive for Mac, and I'll click the free button to install the app. Sign into my account, and it's installing the SkyDrive onto my Mac. Now, I also have several Windows computers, and you'll see that there's a Windows 8.1 installation file, there's a Windows Vista 7 or Windows 8 installation file. You can also get OneDrive on tablets, Windows 8 tablets, but also iOS and Android. You can get OneDrive on your phones. And so Microsoft, I feel, has done a great job of increasing the accessibility of the OneDrive by having so many apps available in so many different systems and devices. So the installation process will be different depending on what device you're installing OneDrive onto. But let's take a look how it works on a Mac. Now that I've installed the app, I just need to go down to my dock and look for the launch pad. I'll click launch pad and there it's showing SkyDrive. It's showing the app as being the SkyDrive app. That's just old terminology. Um, even though it says SkyDrive there, it's actually the Microsoft OneDrive. So I'll go ahead and click that. It welcomes me to SkyDrive or OneDrive and I'll click get started. Sign into my Microsoft account and there are some options here for me. You can have it automatically open your OneDrive folder when you turn on your computer. I recommend that so that you don't have to think about it. It just is activated. It's just working for you. And if you want you can hide the dock icon so that it doesn't show up down here in the dock. I'm gonna leave that checked but I may change my mind later. Next I'll choose the SkyDrive folder location and I'll just choose that default location. Click Next and if I click Done Now all the files, all the photos, everything that's in my OneDrive will be synced to this computer and that's great but if you use OneDrive a lot, just keep in mind that all of those files and folders and documents will be stored on your hard drive and synced to there. And so it will take up space on your computer. The other option is to choose only specific folders to sync. I'm going to leave it at All Files and Folders. I'll click Done. And now notice that at the top of the screen I have the OneDrive icon. 
and this is showing me that it's working. It's syncing the files from the web, from the cloud, and putting them on this device. Now I could still go to OneDrive.com and access all those files and folders that way too, or I can just access them here on my computer. So let's take a look at how this will work on a day-to-day -day basis. If there's ever something on my computer that I would like to store in SkyDrive to be able to access anywhere I am on any of my devices or on the web at OneDrive.com, all I have to do is click on that little icon that's up there at the top for SkyDrive or for OneDrive, click Open Folder, and soon that will say OneDrive, not SkyDrive, and you can see that all of my same files and folders that were available on OneDrive.com are now also available on my computer, and I can simply drag items into folders that I want to share or to store in the cloud. Now for Mac users, just a tip, it would be nice if I could get the OneDrive or SkyDrive to show up here in the upper left corner of the Finder, like I have Dropbox set up here, so that I can quickly access those files. This is how you would do it, and it's somewhat similar on a Windows computer as well. I'm going to change the view by clicking this button here. There's my SkyDrive folder, and all I have to do is click and drag and drop it where I want it to be in my list of favorites. So in the future, if I want to access the SkyDrive, all I have to do is go down to the dock, open the Finder, there's my SkyDrive ready to go. You can also go up here and click the icon. So if I go ahead and install OneDrive or SkyDrive on my phone, on my tablets, they will all be linked and synced together with the documents that I put into that SkyDrive or OneDrive folder. Those of you that are Google Drive users or Dropbox users, I would recommend that you not ignore OneDrive. It is a great service and there's no reason to limit yourself just to Dropbox if you're a Dropbox user. Use OneDrive as well.